ho friends, it's Michelle, and as you can see from that thumbnail, today we are doing a very exciting Scentsy Club edit. And before we jump into the actual edit, I wanted to have a little chat, um, kind of my thought process in deciding what goes in and stays in my club, really. Um, if you don't know what Scentsy Club is, just real quick, there are many perks. My favorite perk is being able to continue getting my favorite Scentsy Bar scents in the bar form after they have discontinued. And if you want more information, of course, my contact information is in the description box below and also a link to the uh, Scentsy Club webpage that has videos, frequently asked questions, all kind of information about it. I think most of us though know what Scentsy Club is and that's why you're here. So just kind of wanted to go over kind of I guess my thought process and what I'm doing. Um, first and foremost, I'm trying to reduce the on hand Scentsy bars that I have and to do that I have to reduce what's in my Scentsy Club. Um, I'm, I have a hack club that you will see when we switch to the screen. Um, more information on that in my original hack video and another um, to come video in January, December or January when I have to make the move with that hack club. So I will leave link in the description below for that hack video. Basically a bi-monthly club is the only one that I get shipped to me. I stick with the bi-monthly club for multiple reasons. It's kind of an in-between. I don't want something every month. I don't think every quarter is enough. If I truly love a scent, then I'm gonna at least want six a year which is the bi-monthly club. So, um, let me say, see my notes. When I get my club in, I try to at least have a one in, one out method. So, every other month when it comes in or when it's about to ship or process, I go through my drawers here where my Scentsy bars are and I will pull, pull at least one if I have not already pulled it and they're sitting in my um, melting drawer already, but if I'm pulling one then, at least I'm going to use the one that's coming to me. As you'll see, some have two and three and four, but that's another story for later. Um, yeah, it may have some sitting in my melting drawer already that is kind of a continuous um, fill. I usually fill it about once a month, but I will randomly come in and pull some bars that I am in the mood for, right? So, um, I'm looking through my notes again. Yeah, so I, at least a one in to one out type of method. I'm really asking myself with each scent, do I love and need this bar, right? And kind of with, if you saw Frozen 2, um, there was a question from one of the characters to another and there was hesitation and Olaf jumped in there and said, you hesitated, right? So I kind of think of that way. If I hesitate whether I need it or not, that means to me, I don't need it. Um, if I can't easily answer, yes, I have to have that scent. I love it and I need it, right? For example, I have from the Frozen 2 collection, the North Calls. I'm pretty sure that will always be a yes, but every time my bi-monthly um, club comes around, I ask myself that again. Um, every time, go through every scent and... <clears throat> There's another one in there that you'll see, and I won't have to explain it then, I guess, but it's Spiced Orange Harvest. It was from the Bring Back My Bar, maybe in January. Um, anyway, I absolutely love it. Have it in my club. I think I started with 
maybe two every um, every other month. I reduced it down to one, and now I'm kind of at the point where I'm not reaching for it as often. And if I'm not going to warm at least six bars in a year, I don't need it. I kind of set that parameter and guideline for myself. So, and that's a reason, one of the reasons I keep that bi-monthly club only. If I don't want six, like I said, then I, I don't need it. Um, for example, one I don't have in my club, but I love the scent, is Southern Evening. Love the scent. I'm not going to really reach for it six times a year, though. I don't think. I had it in my club for a while, and I was having to force myself, when I wasn't even in the mood for it, to warm it just because of the one-in, one-out method. So, that ended up coming out of my club, and honestly, it was... It's kind of a relief. Yes, I will enjoy it if and when it comes back, but I don't need it all the time in a club coming to me on any regular basis, you know? We have so many scents always available to us in the catalog, plus all of the limited time offers that are constantly coming out. I'm trying to focus more on what's currently available, which is another reason why I have these parameters and guidelines and all that for myself to make these decisions. So, I guess that kind of gives you a little look into my mind, into my way of thinking, um, to try to keep my club at a smaller, more manageable level. Um, to each their own, of course. I love seeing everyone's club, whether it's, you know, five bars or 50 bars or beyond that. Um, but this is what works for me. And I kind of just wanted to um, tell you my way of thinking. Um, oh, something else I also wanted to mention. I see some people like to put like current catalog scents in their Scentsy Club. And that's great if I don't order on a, um, you know, semi-often basis. I do, though, place at least one, maybe two orders every month that go towards earning rewards for a hostess reward type situation. So, I don't personally put active, currently available scents in my club. Um, you know, as far as the commissions on it, you get less commission on a club, but you do get 10% off up front, but you can't bundle and save and you can't get the, um, hostess rewards on what you do spend with a higher, um, commission. So yeah, that's just my way of thinking because I, you know, fairly often place orders. I would rather order um, available, currently available scents in through a party order to get those hostess rewards and the higher commission and be able to bundle and save. So for me, the club is exclusively for retired scents that I placed in there before they retired, right? Um, anything else? Oh, something else I want to touch on is the performance of a bar. So whether I, that is kind of included in my thought process as to do I love it and need it? Because it does affect the performance, the strength, the, you know, what I get out of the bar. Does um, go to that question and it also goes to the question of how often do I reach for it? If a bar does, doesn't perform as well, then I probably don't reach for it as often either. So as far as performance being a consideration, I kind of feel like it's already included in those questions that I already go through or guidelines, whatever. Um, yeah, so we're about to switch over to the screen of me making edits. I do want to say, like I mentioned before, I've got the bi-monthly club 
and the quarterly club, but the only one that ships to me is the bi-monthly. You will see that the quarterly club is probably well beyond a thousand dollars, but that is just kind of a holding club until we know what is coming back in the spring summer catalog. So like I said, if, if you want more information on that club, check out my hack video and that took place in June or July. And then I will have a follow-up video to that in December or January, kind of when it's time that I have to move those or do something with them. So yeah, it'll take a little bit to make sense and put it all together, but we'll get there <laughs> when it's time to actually move them and make a decision. So yeah, so let's switch over to um, the screen and go through my, my bi-monthly club. I like to keep it around $200. It's not a really harsh number. I mean, if I end up having more in there that I absolutely love and that I reach for, reach for just as often as they come into me, then maybe it'll go beyond that. But right now, it's I try to keep it around $200. But like I said, that's a soft kind of guideline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's switch over to the screen. Okay, here we go. This is the overview of my Scentsy Club subscriptions. I am recording this on October 11th at about 6 p.m. my time. And so as you can see, that bi-monthly club next order October 12th, this video probably won't go up until the 13th, just because the 12th is usually, it's a Wednesday, so my weekly wax meltdown video went up. Um, anyway, just to clear that up. <laughs> so my monthly, no subscription, I rarely use that. You know, there are exceptions to every rule. The bi-monthly club is the only one that ships, and that's what we're making changes to today. The quarterly club is my hack club. I have a video on that and we'll leave that in the description box below. This club never ships to me. It is a holding club to hold some bars until we find out in the sp what will be coming back in the spring summer catalog. I will be making changes to that uh, before January 12th so stay tuned for part two of that hack video. Um, yeah, let's, let's get to it. Okay. Let's make some edits here. I've already discussed several of these, I think really. Um, so first, uh, $527 for a pre-tax of four. That's a no. <laughs> we will be cutting this. Um, I do like seeing that this is still only $8 now. That's nice. You know, give a, give and take on the shipping, I guess, a little bit. So, Spiced Orange Harvest, I already talked about this. I'm not reaching for it enough. Even for six bars a year, because it's in my bi-monthly club, I'll get it every other month. I'm not reaching for it. So, I'm taking this one out. I believe I'll be fine without it. I am pretty picky on the orange and spicy scents, but I don't have to have a spice orange scent. I'm not going to be, you know, I guess really missing it. <laughs> Next, I've got Vitamin R Relax. This is a great scent. The question of do I have to have it? Do I, do I love it? Do I need it? Yes. If I'm trying to get rid, if I'm trying to lower and having trouble, this may be one to go just simply because it is a kind of light performer for me. But at this point, we still have a lot to look at, so I'm leaving it for sure. I think it'll be fine to stay for a while still. Vitamin S for Soothe. Um, I have two coming to me. I, I do love it. I do need it. It reminds me of Soren at Disney World. So, yeah, it's got that scent memory behind it. Plus, I love fresh scents. And, you know, my mom really likes this one, too. I was about to put it down to one. 
But my mom, I think, likes this one too. I'm going to wait on that. We'll see where we're at once we get to the end here. Frozen, the North Call, Frozen 2 North Calls. I already talked about this one. This one's definitely staying. Ice Hotel. I don't think I mentioned it. But yeah, this is, I know it says Ice Hotel, but it is my summer go-to fragrance when it is burning up outside and the AC inside is having a hard time keeping up. It helps the house, or the room it's in at least, feel a little cooler just because of the scent that's in there. So, keeping it. Lavender Violet. This one, I have two. This is a lavender marshmallow type scent. For now, I'm keeping that at two. I love the scent. I am slowing down how often I'm reaching for it. So, if we have a problem of getting to around my $200 goal, maybe that's one to go down along with um, Vitamin Soothe. But I think right now, honestly, I think we're good. Strawberry Rose. Um, artificial strawberry musky scent. Very unique. I haven't ever smelled anything like it. Do I love it and need it? Yes. I am also getting to where I'm not reaching for it as often. Um, but that may just be because it is, um, you know, that time of year where I'm reaching for other type of scents. Or it's starting to be at least. The Disney and Pixar Turning Red. OMG, I love, love, love this bar. You can see I have five. I will, I will go down to four, but nothing beyond that. Four every other month. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> Cutie Pie Cupcake. Fell in love with this bakery scent, which is just wild to me. Um... But I love this. Even just in the living room, it's great. I'm keeping it. My only sunshine. Uh, for now, I'm keeping it. It may only stay in another round or two. Um, it's, it's kind of a, more of an emotional attachment to that one. Um, but I do love the scent as well. I just, I'm not reaching for it. So it will come out at some point. It will be sacrificed <laughs> when there are other scents that I just have to have. Lemon Coconut Chiffon. Fell in love with this one, too. Another bakery. Unbelievable. Love it. Every time I melt it, I am just amazed at how good it is. Keeping it. Route 66. Um, the last time I warmed this, it was light. I don't know what was going on there. I'm going to give it one more round. If I have that experience again... It's coming out, though. Um, feeling punchy. I know some people did not care for this, but there are there are a few of us on YouTube that like the scent. Um, I'm going to take it out only because I have it in my hack holding club. So, in January, I will still have bars available to ship to me from that club so i'm gonna take it out here but like i said only because of that because i don't want to build stock when i'm not even using it this time of year you know what i mean so i don't want to build stock i'm taking it out because i have my backup same thing with kukui and coconut i really really think this one will come back in our spring summer catalog let me know what you think. Do you think this one's coming back? I think it had a great following. Um, I was a little late to the to the show here at first. It was kind of light for me. Um, but, you know, as it cured, it did get stronger. It's in my hack holding quarterly club. So I'm going to take it out of here. But I have the backup. Because I don't want to build stock when I'm not even using it, right? Okay, Star Apple and Freesia, same thing. I really like it. To me, it was very unique. Um, I guess I could see where people, you know, would say it's not, but I, to me, it is. I, Star Apple, I didn't even know that was something. <laughs> so, um, it is in my hack holding club, so I'm going to take that out, and we'll make the tough decisions in January. <laughs> 
sunshine and tan line. I wouldn't mind having more of that. It's not a love it, need it kind of scent, though. It may also be in my hat club. I'm, I'm club. I'm not sure. Don't need it, though. Wally. Uh, no. <laughs> I think if you saw when I first got this, I liked it. And the first time I warmed it, I liked it. I got more of the green apple. But after that, each time, it's giving me more of a grass green note that I don't like. So that one is a no. And if you're not familiar with Club, here it is. It's warning me. Because of this symbol here, that means it is a discontinued scent right now. If I take it out, I cannot undo it. So I have to agree. Yes, remove the item. I probably have that one in my hat club too. I've gotten to where I will add scents to both the bi-monthly and the quarterly. And I don't know that I actually explained this. I should have explained this a long time ago. Um, throughout... Between each shipment of my bi-monthly club, I just add cents. Add, add, add. And then that way at the end when it's time to make decisions, I've got all these cents that have been coming in, whether scent of the month, LTOs, you know, anything, collections that came in around those, throughout those two months. They're there. Um, so it's just taking them out and making the decision then. So Moana, that's a good watermelon kind of floral scent tropical scent i don't have to personally have it but i completely understand those that do it's probably in my hat club if i decide in january i absolutely have to have it but i don't think i will glacier water is a no for me that was a masculine cologne scent that i did not care for red white and berry pie i did enjoy this scent um do i need it no I kind of wonder if we won't get this scent, if not in spring summer catalog, if we'll get it next fall winter maybe? I don't know. What do you think? I think that was a pretty good scent and the general, you know, generally everyone liked it. Zoinks, uh, this is still available. So here's what I'm going to do with currently available scents. Like I mentioned earlier in our face-to-face -face conversation, if it's currently available, I'm taking it out. Um, but I will add it right back in after the shipment has, um, you know, processed, locked, whatever you want to call it. I just know, basically, when I get my email saying that it's processed, I go back in there and add currently available scents that I might like. Because Zoinks, I think, will be making it into my club. Halloween Town. This is one... Okay, I'm taking it out because it's currently available. But I will say, I have kind of regretted taking it out in the past. But, on the other hand, I don't think I will warm it six times a year. I mean, if I'm trying to, you know, concentrate on catalog and currently available scents, do I need to be getting, you know, a specific scent for Halloween? I mean, that's really the only time I would warm that. Jack's Obsession, kind of a spicy apple. Green apple, though. I like this one better than most uh, apple spice scents. Um, it's available. I'm taking it out. I can add it back in. We're all mad here. Now, you know, if you've been watching my videos, this will be going back in. It's just, I'm, when I place an order in a, um, a general order, like attached to a party, I'm ordering a little here and a little there of it. I'm not trying to stock up on it, which is another reason I'm taking it out here. <laughs> but, you know. I'm ordering a little bit here and there and using it and will definitely, it will be going in my club and staying before it actually retires. Um, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, all of these here. See if I can move that up a little bit. All of these here currently available. My absolute favorite got to have is Ravenclaw. And as you can see, it is in multiples. 
I have tried that one, obviously. I love, love it. Gotta have it, yes. Um, it's currently available. I'm gonna pop it back in the day after this video is recorded. And this one's just meh, okay. The Gryffindor, this one is interesting to me. It reminds me of yet another Disney World ride. It reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean, but um, like there's some parts where they're shooting some cannons, anyway. But it's not something I would warm often, so I don't know if I'll put that back in. Uh, Wizarding World Harry Potter, no. The, I, this is in quantity of four only because when I put it in here, I hadn't smelled it yet. It's a no for me. I think I have another bar or two of it. I'm not positive. I might get another bar just to make sure, but it's just a masculine clone sent to me. Cozy vanilla and pumpkin, maple rum cake, wild for fall, and gimme candy. Gimme candy was sent to the month last month. Wild for fall, maple rum cake, cozy vanilla and pumpkin, all from the Harvest Collection three pack bundle, whatever. While I enjoyed them for the most part, I don't need them. I put them in here before I even smelled them, just as, you know, a safety net. Okay, Sanderson Sisters. Kind of somewhat reminds me of the red, white, and berry pie, but then it turns like powdery kind of um, body care um, perfume I don't know there is a note in there on day two that I don't like so it's a no all blacks and wallabies rugby scents I'm still on the fence about those because they're currently available I'm taking them out but I will be putting those back in tomorrow to hold for further evaluation <laughs> um, yeah, Scentsy air purifier replacement. Still on the fence about the air purifier, but stay tuned. I'll I'll do an update video eventually. <laughs> Warm pumpkin drizzle. That is this month's scent of the month. And while I really like it on cold and I get the sweet pineapple scent on cold, I don't warm. So it's just a, another pumpkin scent to me. I mean, anyway. Oh, wow. My goodness. <laughs> Talk about surprise myself. Um, I'm down to $124.95. $135. Wow. I mean, I'm shocked. <laughs> I cut it that much? Kind of wish I would have kept this at five now. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a good, you know, layout of what I'm loving the most right now that has been discontinued. And, you know, slowly, of course, this number's going to creep up um, as new scents come out and I fall in love with them or old scents come back and I fall in love with them. Um, yeah. Like and subscribe if you like this type of content. I always have videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, wax related. 95% of the time. 99% of the time probably. Um, yeah. So. Here we are. I'm kind of wondering. Well, I mean, since I'm way below. <laughs> uh, should I? No. I'm going to look. I may add stuff back, but I won't record that. <laughs> um, only because I have it coming anyway. Let's see. And I don't think I'm placing an order anytime soon. I'm kind of slowing down on placing orders, if you haven't noticed. Um, I didn't order the castle this Monday. Because, well, I already have it. I already have a brick. 
Um, you know what? I think I'm going to add one bar. I think it's available. One bar of the... Oh, this, the Cinderella, the, not Cinderella, 50th anniversary, iridescent. Here we go. I'm going to add that in. Just because, I mean, I'm paying $8 for shipping. And I don't know when I'm placing another order. <laughs> Here I go again. Let's, sure, why not? See how much that changes it. It was just, what, 18 bucks. Well, more than that, because they were all licensed. I wish I knew offhand how many I had of both of these right now. I'm going to take those off. I'm just going to stick with the... Okay. Okay. I'm going to let you go, though. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And be sure to check out that description box for that hack video. And subscribe. That way, when I post that hack video in January, it will show up in your, your subscription feed. Along with all the other videos that I upload. I mean, two a week, at least. I hope everyone is doing well this week and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.